So I've just counted and I've got 10 resin printers in my test studio right now and of all of them my favorite by far is the Elego Neptune 5 Ultra. There are cheaper printers than the 5 Ultra but for your money there is nothing as powerful as the Mars 5 Ultra. Last year I called the Elego Mars 4 Ultra the must-have printer for the newcomer to resin printing and also for the resin printing pro that wanted a dependable and affordable machine. This Elgo Neptune 5 Ultra blows that printer out of the water. The Mars 5 Ultra is packed with features that simplify resin printing and create perfect prints right out of the box. I am not kidding about that. So let's give this a try. Okay, so the first killer feature is not something that Elgo has added as much as it's something that it has removed. What it took away is the complexity that usually comes with setting up a resin printer. That is totally gone thanks to the Mars 5 Ultra's new auto-leveling build plate. Okay, almost every other resin printer requires bed leveling, and it's easily the worst thing about resin printing aside from the smell. I have used so many printers before where the prints just suddenly start to fail because somehow the tightened down print bed gets out of alignment right after you've printed with it. The Mars 5 Ultra has this automatically calibrated leveling build plate and the print head calibrates before every single print. Usually with a 3D resin printing there's a knob up here and the knob is used to control the angle, the print head. On most print beds there's two bolts and the bolts allow the print surface to go like this and like that. But the problem is that often leaves one side up higher than the other side. The Mars 4 Ultra changes from a two bolt and two axis pivot system to a one axis pivot but now we had four bolts. But this has completely gotten rid of that. Instead of a one or a two bolt system to level the print head, instead there is nothing here to level the print head. It is put on to the printer completely straight and then these little posts here are used to align the print bed. So this printer actively monitors its own performance before each print. It checks the light source, the motor functionality, and other critical components, including the level of the print bed. That prevents failed prints and it prevents you hurting your printer for some reason if something isn't set up properly. It also means that your first print and every print afterwards is set up for success right from the start. It's one of the reasons that I now recommend this printer to beginners. From unboxing to my first print, the Mars 5 Ultra took about 10 minutes to get set up. Most of that time was just taking things out of the box. Basically, if it came without the packing material in it, you could plug it into a wall and start printing. Even if this is your first resin printer, you will be able to get it up and running within maybe 15 or 20 minutes. One of the standout features for me is the Mars 5 Ultra's Wi-Fi remote printing capability. So it comes with this Wi-Fi antenna, which you just put onto the side. When you do that, you're able to control and print wirelessly. The ChidoBox Basic and ChidoBox Manager make it really easy to send files wirelessly. Elegoo has worked with ChidoBox for a long time and their partnership means it's easy to connect to any of Elegoo's Wi-Fi enabled printers. In fact, once you turn it on, you connect to the internet on the printer, ChidoBox just sees the printer. You don't have to tell it the IP address, it just knows that it's there and and it can configure your system based on what it sees from the printer. Thanks to the built-in AI detecting camera, which I'll talk about in a minute, you can make time lapses like this. Let's talk a bit about that built-in camera. I've used other resin printers with built-in cameras and they've never really worked that well, but the camera is really useful and it's one of the reasons that this is a great printer for the beginner. The camera allows you to monitor your prints in real time. It also detects issues like an empty build plate or model warping and it sends an alert immediately and pauses the print. One quick note on the camera, unlike the Saturn IV Ultra's camera, there is no built-in light on this camera, so video monitoring depends on there being lights in the room. Okay, so the next innovation is really pretty awesome. The printer uses a tilt-release technology. It tilts the resin tank during printing, which helps reduce the suction, and which helps increases print speed. So this printer can reach up to 150 millimeters per hour, which is impressively fast for a resin printer. A plate of these miniatures took just two hours to do. One downside to the tilting plate is that it makes it easier to spill resin inside the printer itself. Most printers have a sealed top, but the tilting bed means that this has a space all around the print bed in order to be able to tilt. And so if you look here, you can see that there's space that resin can get into the machine. Cover back off. So the other day I started a print job and the printer warned me that the tank resin level was too high, which gave me a chance to empty it out a little bit before I had spilled resin all over the printer. That's a pretty cool warning. Of course, all this technology would be completely meaningless unless this had great print quality. And the Mars 5 Ultra has amazing print quality. With its 9K monochrome LCD and a seven inch screen, it delivers incredibly detailed results like these. The precision is really perfect for miniatures like these, prototypes, and other intricate designs. Even with really complex models, the Mars 5 Ultra handles details beautifully. Obviously, the limitation of resin printers is the size of the print bed, and this print bed is small compared to some of the bigger printers like a Saturn. If you have a print that's not something like a skyscraper or the Eiffel Tower or something, you might run into limitations with the bed. Most models for resin printers are split up so that you can print individual pieces and glue them together. So there's only a couple of things that I could call negatives on this printer. The USB Wi-Fi connector and the power switch are all on the side of the printer and I hate that. I really prefer if they're on the front 
of the printer because then I can put the printers closer to each other, especially since the Wi-Fi antenna is over here on the side. If I have another printer really close, that other printer is going to block the Wi-Fi antenna a little bit. I'm also a little bit spoiled by the new Saturn IV Ultra and the Creality Hallet printer that I have in my house because they have lift up printer covers. I really hate having to take off the lid, flip it upside down, and put it somewhere just to get to the print and the printhead. It's a small negative though, considering all the other great features packed into this machine, that doesn't really bother me too much. Okay, back on. Overall though, the Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra stands out as a top tier resin printer. The combination of user-friendly features, advanced technology, and exceptional print quality makes it a perfect choice for both beginners and seasoned makers alike. Effortless setup, high-speed, high-resolution printing, this is a printer that just plain works. If you've been looking for a reliable, efficient resin printer, the Mars 5 Ultra is the printer that you're looking for, and it is now my pick for the best resin printer on the market. What are you printing with right now? Do you have a resin printer? Are you looking to pick up one? What do you think about this? You can still get the Mars 4 Ultra for less money, but I gotta tell you, I would rather spend more money on this printer and have more features than save a little bit of money on the Mars 4 Ultra because this machine just works and works and works. Also, leave me a comment to let me know what kind of 3D printing you do the most. Are you a filament guy or a resin guy? Okay, for Dave Tries This, I'm David Schloss, and as always, thanks so much for giving this a try.